and domestic relationships, progressive reversal of historical convictions and legalisation of same-sex marriage. We work closely with bilateral partners, international organisations and civil society on LGBTQI human rights issues and we particularly welcome engagement with civil society organisations. The work of civil society and human rights defenders, just like APCOM, is crucial to promoting progress and highlighting concerns regarding LGBTQI human rights. The HERO Awards are a fantastic way to recognise activists and advocates from across the region. It's bound to be a great night once again, and we wish you all the best. Thank you. Equity, dignity, social justice. Thumbs up to APCOM's Hero Awards 2020. This has been a tough year. The SARS-CoV-2 virus changed everything. Thailand was the first country with the case outside of China. Thanks to a strong response and a good health system, Thailand has been spared the worst. But in other parts of the world, the LGBTI community is particularly affected by the lockdowns. The virus strengthens existing trends of discrimination and even violence. Germany continues its support for the LGBTI community in these difficult times. It's now more important than ever. Equity, dignity, social justice. I'm proud to be with APCOM tonight. Good evening. I would like to thank APCOM and Con Midnight in particular for inviting me to attend tonight's Hero Awards to represent Ireland. LGBTI issues are very important to the government of Ireland, both domestically and internationally. Through our commitment to gender, gender equality on a national scale, Ireland has risen to seventh on the EU Gender Equality Index. We have shown leadership with the first public referendum vote for marriage equality in 2015. This made a powerful statement about our values and how we treat those who are historically marginalised. We said yes to inclusion, yes to generosity, and yes to equal marriage. We have progressive gender recognition legislation and are advancing on a number of other important equality measures around equal pay, gender balance, gender quota in politics, and parental leave. 17% of our population were born outside of Ireland, and many have been given the opportunity to acquire Irish citizenship. Over 120,000 people have received Irish citizenship since 2011, which represents more than 2.5% of the total Irish population, and our country is much better and much richer as a consequence. A healthy population is a major asset for society, <clears throat> and improving the health and well-being of the nation is a priority for the Government of Ireland. We aim for a healthy Ireland where everyone can enjoy physical and mental health and well-being to their full potential. In 2013, we launched a 12-year plan, the Healthy Ireland Framework. We take this approach abroad into our foreign policy approach, and here in Thailand, we work closely with a number of project partners to deliver programmes on health and well-being. These range from supporting children's education to healthcare to farming and self-sufficiency projects. We are delighted to support the important work of APCOM in Thailand and the ASEAN region, and we greatly look forward to collaborating further with APCOM in the future. This evening, I wish to take this opportunity again to wish the 2020 Hero Award winners every success in the future. Thank you very much for your attention. Dear friends of the APCOM community, unfortunately, this year I cannot join you tonight in person but I have fond memories of hosting the Hero Awards at the Netherlands residence last year. The EPCOM Awards highlight the extraordinary work of everyday heroes in the Asia-Pacific region and their outstanding service to the HIV response and to the LGBTI communities in the region. At present, when we talk about the pandemic, we all think of the COVID-19 pandemic. Understandably so. This pandemic has disrupted our personal lives and our global economic and political outlook. However, 
We must keep in mind that other challenges such as inequality, climate change and growing populations did not miraculously disappear, but will remain with us also post-COVID. And let's not forget that the most severe ongoing global pandemic is that of the HIV virus. More than 35 million people have died since the start of the epidemic in the 80s. Almost 40 million people are living with HIV AIDS and around 2 million new HIV infections are diagnosed annually. Unfortunately, COVID-19 has posed an extra risk in gaining access to healthcare for vulnerable populations such as people living with HIV. That is why we applaud that this year's edition of the awards includes a new category called COVID-19 Hero, nominating those who looked after the interests of LGBTI people and people affected by HIV during the pandemic response. The Netherlands is committed to, for respect for, and the provision of universal access to sexual and reproductive health and rights, including for issues related to HIV AIDS, on a basis of respect for human rights and collaboration with partners. We therefore campaign for global access to information, resources and services, so that people can access the products and services they need in order to shape their own futures. And this year on World's AIDS Day on the 1st of December, the Embassy will hosting the Rex Thai Foundation's World AIDS Day commemoration. So concluding, warm congratulations to all the nominees and award recipients Keep up your important work and thank you for your outstanding achievements. And congratulations to APCOM for organizing the fourth edition of the HERO Awards and for providing such an important platform for highlighting LGBTI in HIV issues in Asia Pacific. Good evening, bonsoir, sawadika. I'm Sarah Taylor, the Canadian ambassador to Thailand, Laos and Cambodia and I'm very pleased to be joining you here this evening for the 2020 APCOM HERO Awards. Canada has long been a supporter of LGBTQI rights in Thailand and around the world. For example, in 2018, we hosted the Equal Rights Coalition Global Conference on LGBTQI rights in inclusive development, including sponsoring travel by an APCOM representative to that conference. In these difficult times, we need heroes more than ever. So let's take the time this evening to celebrate the heroes amongst us and to joy, enjoy the gala. Congratulations to the winners. Felicitations, Chayol. Kia talofa, sawa di krap. I am Taha McPherson, New Zealand's ambassador to Thailand. And it's our pleasure once more to be able to support APCOM and this year's APCOM Hero Awards. Aotearoa New Zealand considers that the right to equality and non-discrimination are core human rights principles which encompass sexual orientation and gender identity. Our International Human Rights Action Plan prioritizes sexual orientation and gender identity for global advocacy and leadership. We are proud to support equal rights for all persons, regardless of sexual orientation or gender identity. In New Zealand, this includes the access to public health care services and standards that require services to respect people's sexuality and gender identity. Despite the progress made in some areas, the LGBTQI community often experiences worse outcomes across a range of areas in terms of health and well-being. New Zealand acknowledges this and we are committed to improving LGBTQI outcomes. Today, I would like to highlight two encouraging areas of best practice. Firstly, since 2018, New Zealand has been a front runner by providing PrEP as a preventive measure for those at risk of contracting HIV. This initiative has been supported by enhanced monitoring, assessments and continued social marketing to promote safe sex practices. Secondly, innovative work is underway through the New Zealand Child and Youth Intersex Clinical Network. This network is focused on providing clinical leadership to improve rights affirming health practices, systems and approaches for intersex children 
and youth up to 18 years old. It has engaged clinicians, community representatives and relevant government agencies. And its work supports clinicians working across the health services for ch children, youth and their families. Initiatives such as these are two of a range of policies occurring across our government and the community sector to create a more inclusive society and promote the well-being of LGBTQI New Zealanders. We recognise that more hard work is necessary. We know that in a large, diverse region like our own, significant challenges remain in ending discrimination and ensuring the safety and well-being of our LGBTQI communities. However, we recognise that the advocacy, engagement, commitment and leadership of LGBTQI advocates, activists and human rights defenders remain critical in advancing and improving rights and overcoming all forms of discrimination. So we are proud to support APCOM and the HERO Awards. And as we are every year, we are humbled in recognising the tireless work, courage and successes of activists from across our region. I am sorry that I cannot be there in person this year to present an award, but I wish to acknowledge and congratulate all of the nominees tonight who work every day to contribute to the improvement of the lives of our LGBTQI communities. Kia ora, fafetai lava, and kōpun krab. So a big hello to all my friends and colleagues at APCOM and at the HERO Awards uh, tonight. It's really great for me to be able to take part, even though it is uh, virtually, uh, since I can't be with you, though my husband, of course, is, is there in the audience. The work you do is, is amazing, and it's been my pleasure over the last four years to work with you on a whole range of issues around equality, HIV, the rights of the LGBTQI community across Asia Pacific. And it's really important that we really celebrate the successes while still acknowledging the many challenges that still face all of our, all of our community across the region. What you do is, is a huge contribution to that. And it is great for me as the British Ambassador to be able to be part of that and to lend my support on behalf of the United Kingdom to the work you do. We too, like you, are committed uh, to non-discrimination on any grounds for all. Uh, we've made that very clear in 2015 through our Leave No One Behind commitment. And I really do believe, as you've heard me say before, that what the LGBTQI community is asking for is nothing less than the same rights as everyone else. It's not anything special, it's not anything different. And you really exemplify that in your calls for dignity, respect and protection for the rights and opportunities of all our community across Asia Pacific. So thank you for that work and thank you in particular to all those nominated and winners of the HERO Awards tonight. Um, it's great to celebrate your stories and it's great that you stand here for all the many, many people across Asia Pacific working for equal opportunity for all. Thank you. Vi får inte bli tysta. Vi måste tala för dem som inte vågar, får eller kan. Vi här i Sverige och Norden ligger idag relativt långt fram när det gäller hbtqi-personers rättigheter. Men det vi ser som självklart, eller åtminstone vill tro är självklart, det är i andra delar av världen totalt otänkbart. I många länder är samkönade relationer rent avbrottsliga. Unga tvingas gömma och förneka sin kärlek, sin identitet. HBTQI-personer förföljs, trakasseras och till och med fängslas. För mig är det totalt ofattbart. Men jag vet att i de här länderna är ni som är med av både en källa till inspiration och ett enormt viktigt stöd. Jag tror dessutom att den här uppgiften är särskilt viktig just nu när coronapandemin sätter så mycket på paus och när utvecklingen på vissa håll till och med går bakåt. Samtidigt får vi inte glömma att även här i Sverige så finns det många, både yngre och äldre, som inte vågar vara öppna. Det finns familjer och sammanhang 
där synen på hbtqi-personer fortfarande präglas av fördomar och okunskap. Om du är en av dem som inte kan eller vågar vara öppen om vem du är så vill jag bara att du ska veta en sak. Du har rätt att vara precis den du är. Och vi är många som står bakom dig. Jag står bakom dig. As an EPCOM ambassador, I just want to extend my warmest congratulations to all the winners of the EPCOM Hero Awards in all the 10 categories and the Shivananda Award. I know that all of you do incredible work either in advocating or in providing direct services for the communities, um, for the LGBTQI communities. This is very important work that you do, often under difficult circumstances, and all of you are very deserving of this award. Once again, congratulations and thank you for the work that you do. Hello everyone, I'm Michael Bach, and it's my pleasure to welcome you all as APCOM's Ambassador for Private Sector Engagement to this year's annual Hero Awards. Earlier this week, I spoke to the APCOM Community Summit participants, and I said, what an amazing time it is to be alive. This pandemic has challenged us as a community and as a society in so many ways. The impacts have been enormous on our jobs, health, relationships, mobility, and how we work and live our lives. This pandemic has illustrated for us that courage and determination have no limits. That courage and determination is represented in every one of our Hero Award 2020 honorees who are gathered here today or tuning in via Zoom. Let me speak to you, Hero honorees. Make no mistake, you are the change makers. You are the healers. You are the ones who bring us hope when the light seems to be vanishing. You are the ones who love unconditionally. You are our heroes. Tonight, tomorrow and every day. To everyone who is joining us in honoring these amazing individuals, thank you. Even heroes need people to have their backs, to give them a hug when the going gets tough and to celebrate their victories, to listen to their joy or deepest sorrows. Even heroes need people like you and me to support and lift them up. Everyone here tonight is sending them energy and light as they lead us on this journey towards social justice and equity and inclusion, and I am grateful. I am grateful for our heroes who often face seemingly insurmountable obstacles, yet manage to save lives, encourage love, demonstrate compassion, and change people's mindsets. I am grateful for being part of this wonderful community of activists and community organizers and caregivers and supporters. The strength that so many of you have inspires me to be a better person to speak up where there is injustice, to take action when there is wrong, and to be generous with kindness and gratitude. Tonight, let us celebrate the heroes among us, our change makers, our humans who are making our world a better place for everyone, regardless of who you are, who you love, what you believe. Thank you all, be kind and be brave. I'm Michael Kirby and I'm a patron of APCOM. I'm proud to be a patron of APCOM, but I'd be even prouder if I were there in Bangkok with you on the celebration of the Heroes Night. It's always a grand occasion, and I congratulate all of those who are winning their awards and their recognition. People who have stood up against hatred and animosity and danger and who have spoken up for equality and justice to all, and particularly LGBTIQ minorities in our part of the world, in Asia and Australasia and in the Pacific. There is still animosity and it's elsewhere in the world and it has to stop. And APCOM is a mighty instrument for helping it stop. 
I thank the embassies. Haven't they been wonderful? The embassy of Portugal led off and the embassy of the Netherlands and the embassy of the United Kingdom with Queen Victoria looking down on us at the whole time and the embassies of other countries that have been there with us in this struggle. I pay tribute to India, the great nation of India, for the decision of the Supreme Court of India in the Johar case, which has given the lead to more pusillanimous courts in other parts of Asia and the Pacific. I pay tribute to APCOM for engaging with communities and standing up in a way that intergenerational and intersectional progress can be made. So this is the challenge and APCOM is the instrument and the heroes are those who are in the vanguard and they will make a change. First, I want to congratulate all of them who got the Hero Awards. There were a number of competitors and I also know who all have competed and who got prizes, who got the awards. First of all, for those who have not made the grade, nothing to be disheartened because you are all great people and you have done wonderful work. It is only that a few of them have to be, have to be, have to be selected that we have brought out this number. But I would like to congratulate all of them who have won the award and who also have not won the award, who have competed. I think very important. Competition is very important. And being heroes, you now have to take the mantle of leadership from the people who have been working in the area for the last so many years, maybe a few decades. Because we need continuity in leadership in HIV. You can't have the same person carrying the burden on his shoulders or her shoulders all the time. You need new leadership, young people coming in and then assuming leadership and taking the agenda forward. So that's what the Hero Awards are all about. To recognize people who are doing great work at the field level, whose abilities and whose performances have not been recognized, to bring them to the fore and then to see that the mantle of leadership passes on to them. So that way I think it is an excellent initiative taken by EPCOM. I like to congratulate Midnight and all the office bearers of EPCOM for instituting these awards and for taking this forward. And keep on the good, good work. Let's have new leadership, young leadership coming in at various levels in the particular movement. Thank you. Good evening and Bula Vinaka to our Hero Awards 2020 honorees and all the participants. Pablo Picasso once said, quote, the meaning of life is to find your gift, and the purpose of life is to give it away." Unquote. When you take that gift to meet the needs of this world, that is where the magic happens. And that is what all of you who are being celebrated tonight have done. You have made magic with your gifts to meet the needs of this world. Your individual outstanding services and dedication to HIV and LB, LGBTQI+, health and human rights advocacy in Asia and the Pacific region is remarkable and is to be admired. I salute you all. Thank you. เขาให้ผลว่าเราเป็น LGBT อยู่ในการที่เราจะต้องไปเจอพบปะลูกค้าเนี่ยเราจะปฏิบัติตัวยังไงแล้วลูกค้าจะมองเรายังไงเพื่อนร่วมงานที่เป็นสเตรทก็อาจจะมีมุกปังมุกไม่ค่อยโอเคสายเหลืองแอสซูมว่าถ้าเราเป็น LGBT อ่ะจะต้องบ้าผู้ชายคําพูดเล็กๆน้อยๆโดยที่บางทีอาจจะไม่ได้คิดเช่นมองว่าเอ๊ะแบบคนเป็นเกย์อาจจะต้องมีพฤติกรรมออกสาวเสมอไปจะต้องแต่งหญิงเป็นคนอีกพวกหนึ่งชื่อตะวันนะคะตอนนั้นเราจบใหม่ตำแหน่งที่เคยได้ไปสมัครก็คือเป็นตำแหน่งเซลล์แต่ว่าปัจจัยตอนนั้นที่เราถูกรีเจ็คเขาให้ผลว่าเราเป็น LGBT อยู่ในการที่เราจะต้องไปเจอพบปะลูกค้าเนี่ยเราจะปฏิบัติตัวยังไงเราจะแต่งตัวยังไงแล้วลูกค้าจะมองเรายังไงในแง่ว่าเรายังต้องเป็น representative ของทางบริษัทด้วยอะคะ่ะ
สติฮาชื่อเฟิร์สนะคะประสบการณ์ที่เคยโดนนะคะเพื่อนร่วมงานแล้วก็อาจจะมีมุกปังมุกที่ใช้แล้วเรามีความรู้สึกว่าไม่ค่อยโอเคไหลเหลืองเออแกไม่ไปดูน้องคนนั้นคนนี้หรอเลยเขามาใหม่เขาหล่อมากเลยนะทําไมเขาต้องแอสซูมว่าถ้าเราเป็น LGBT อ่ะเราจะต้องบ้าผู้ชายหรือเราเป็น LGBT ก็จริงแต่ว่าเราก็มาทํางานนะเราไม่ได้จะมาเหมือนฮาร์รัสใครเป็นไบแอสที่มันมันมากับความเป็น LGBT อะค่ะผมชื่อพีซนะครับเหตุการณ์ดิสคริมิเนตในที่ทํางานกับมันก็อาจจะเป็นคําพูดเล็กๆน้อยๆโดยที่บางทีอาจจะไม่ได้คิดเช่นมองว่าเอ๊ะแบบคนเป็นเกย์อยากจะต้องแบบมีพฤติกรรมออกสาวเสมอไปจะต้องแต่งหญิงเป็นคนอีกพวกหนึ่งต้องทําการแสดงต้องแบบทําอะไรบางอย่างที่เขาไม่ได้คิดว่าจะให้คนที่เป็นสเตรททำตอนนั้นเนี่ยเราก็เฟลค่ะก็ไม่ได้สมัครงานอยู่นั้นพักใหญ่เนี่ยเรารู้สึกว่าเราถูกดิสคาร์มิเนตจากทางเพศว่าเราไม่เหมาะกับงานที่เราอยากจะทํามันจริงๆนะคะแล้วก็ถูกปิดกั้นในการที่เราจะใช้สิทธิ์ทําสิ่งที่เราอยากทําแต่ว่าเราไม่ได้เหมือนคนอื่นเขาซึ่งเราก็กงงว่าเออมันเกี่ยวอะไรกันกับเพศสภาพของเราหรือทำไมต้องมาเลือกปฏิบัติเราแบบนี้ทำไมเป็นความไม่รู้สึกเซ็กเชียลกับตัวเองที่จะใช้ชีวิตที่จะทํางานเอางี้ดีกว่ามันควรจะทําให้มันเป็นเรื่องปกติไปเลยคุณจะเป็นเพศหญิงเพศชายเป็นเกย์เป็นทอมเลสเบียนหรืออะไรก็ว่าไปเราก็ว่ากันด้วยเรื่องบทบาทหน้าที่เรื่องงานที่เขาทําในฐานะที่เราเป็นสมาชิกของสังคมพลเมืองโลกอย่างเงี้ยเราก็ควรที่จะทําความรู้ความเข้าใจเรื่องนี้เพื่อที่ว่าเราจะได้ไม่ถูกเลือกปฏิบัติแล้วเราก็จะได้ไม่เลือกปฏิบัติกับคนอื่นด้วยนะครับทำงานที่ Exxon มา10ปีแล้วครับเป็นพายไทยแลนด์ชายเพอร์เซนพายเองก็จะจัดกิจกรรมที่ให้ความรู้หลักๆก,ก็คือจะมีเป็นเหมือนเซสชันร้านจันเลินให้คนมาเจอกันมาเรียนรู้กันผ่านตัวสปิเกอร์แล้วก็อีกอันหนึ่งก็คือจะเป็นนิวส์เลเทอร์ครับเราเชื่อว่าในงานทุกคนเราเท่าเทียมกันโดยที่ไม่จำเป็นต้องมองว่าเขาเองจะมีเชื้อชาติศาสนาหรือว่ามีเซ็กชวลออเรนเทชันแบบไหนเรากำลังสร้างพื้นที่ที่ปลอดภัยกับทุกคนสวัสดีครับผมวรานนท์เป็นพาร์ทเนอร์บริษัท DLA p i p e r ประเทศไทยจำกัดครับผมเป็นเกย์ที่แต่งงานแล้วความที่เราเป็นชนกลุ่มน้อยเนี่ยนะครับบางครั้งเนี่ยอาจจะเกิดอุปสรรคจากความไม่เข้าใจในที่ทำงานมองว่าเป็นเรื่องที่เราต้องขจัดออกไปกลุ่มไอริสนะครับเป็นกลุ่มที่ทาง DOA p i p e r เองทั่วโลกดูแล policy ที่เกี่ยวกับ LGBTQ เราต้องการให้คนแสดงศักยภาพที่ดีที่สุดของเขาออกมาเพราะฉะนั้นปัญหาหรืออุปสรรคอะไรก็ตามที่จะทำให้เขาไม่สามารถไปถึงจุดตรงนั้นได้เนี่ยนะครับเราต้องลดลงให้มากที่สุดครับผมตอนนี้ทำงานกับ Exxon m o b i l ไประยะเวลาทั้งหมด13ปีแล้วค่ะทางบริษัทมองศักยภาพทางตัวเรามากกว่าเรื่องทางเพศแล้วก็จะมีแคมเปญมีคำรณรงค์ต่างๆมันเหมือนกับเป็นสิ่งที่ reinforce ให้เรามีกำลังใจในการทำงานมากขึ้นเรามีเพื่อน LGBTQ ทั่วโลกเลยที่ Exxon l o c a t e อยู่อะค่ะทำงานกับ Exxon m o b i l มาปีที่6แล้วค่ะพอเรามาที่นี่อ่ะคือเหมือน treat me as a person อ่ะที่รางวัลของเราให้ความรู้ในเรื่องของการโดนเลือกปฏิบัติเพื่อให้พนักงานของเราเจ้านายหรือหัวหน้างานทั้งเซรีแล้วก็ LGBT เข้าใจเราจะต้องระมัดระวังคําพูดหรืออะไรยังไงจะได้ทํางานร่วมกันได้อย่างแบบมีความสุขแล้วก็แบบให้เกียรติกันปัจจุบันทํางานอยู่ที่บริษัท DOA p i p e r ประมาณ6ปีครึ่งความประทับใจของที่ทํางานที่นี่เขามีการเปิดกว้างในเมื่อคุณเป็นมนุษย์คุณจะเป็นเพศไหนอยากจะแสดงออกแบบไหนสังคมหรือบริษัทไม่มีสิทธิ์ที่จะไปเปลี่ยนแปลงถ้ามันเริ่มจากที่ทํางานซึ่งเป็นส่วนสําคัญของชีวิตของคนอยู่แล้วมันก็จะพัฒนาเรื่องของการสนับสนุน LGBT เรื่องของการลดการ discrimination ออกไปได้อีกสวัสดีค่ะชื่อนาดาชัยจิตนะคะพ่ายกับชนสามารถทําให้สวัสดิการ practical อะหลักไม่ทําฉันทําให้ดูก่อนเลยแล้วก็รณรงค์เรียกร้องให้รัฐบาลเนี่ยออกกฎหมายที่มาให้ให้การรับรองด้วยอย่างเงี้ยเพื่อทําให้นโยบาย diversity and inclusion ภายใต้บริษัทเนี่ยสอดคล้องกับกฎหมายที่ควรจะเป็นนะคะเพราะสิ่งที่ควรจะให้กับพนักงานที่มีความหมายทางเพศเนี่ยไม่ได้เป็นการให้เพราะว่าเขาเป็นบุคคลที่พิเศษกว่าแต่เป็นการให้เพราะว่าเขาเป็นบุคคลที่มีศักดิ์ศรีความเป็นมนุษย์เท่าเทียมกันท่านผู้มีเกียรติครับ Hero Award 
time ago I have a dream that's still to grow Pasese pasión Fuego brasa El deseo de dar y fin El deseo de ganar For the lifetime of heartbreaks There's one here today We go all the way Cause it feels like we're having the time of our life Let's light the fire, find the flames Let's get together as one and the same Cause we feel like I'm having the time of our life We find the glory in the pain for all that we are all that we are for the time of our life. Hoy es el día, es la ocasión de triunfar para ser el día del destino. Resonábamos con Good evening, everyone. Good evening, everyone online. <laughs> Your Excellencies, everybody. What a wonderful evening. 
Welcome to the fourth Hero Awards 2020. And congratulations to our upcom team for making it happen during COVID-19 pandemic. <laughs> My name is Midnight. I am the executive director of AppCom. I've been in this position for uh, nearly a decade now, and I really love what I do. And I'm so glad that this evening, uh, what a great turnout. And also from those that are tuning in from home, Swadi Krab from Bangkok. AppCom has been working in this region for over 10 years now. And, it, and in that 10 years, we do see that the, the communities on the ground is really important in ensuring that those that are most vulnerable and most marginalized are not being left behind. Our vision for AppCom is that by the year 2030, everybody, that means everyone, including those of diverse sexual orientation, gender identity, expressions, and sex characteristics can and have a wonderful life and that can reach their full potentials. So for this evening, this is what we're here to really do, to really celebrate and honor those that are really sacrificing their lives, sacrificing their personal relationships, sacrificing their mental health and well-being to ensure that those in their communities are able to be able to live their life and also that they can live their life with passion and compassion. So with tonight's event, Part of the proceeds will also go towards Corona App Compassion, which has started by our staff to ensure that those that are experiencing hardship during this time in COVID-19 in LGBT communities and those that are working with HIV in over 30 countries in the region, in over 200 communities in our region that AppCom is reaching, can and have and know that there are people that care for them. And so what you're doing tonight with the support and supporting AppCom's work, you are really helping those that are on the ground. So I would like to say thank you to you here and those that are at home watching online and those that are donating to Corona App Compassion and to supporting the work that we do. Thank you so much. <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Hero World 2020. You are here with me, Joe Chalawit, and my unstoppable Hollywood goddess. Oh, you're so kind. Thank you so much. I look like your ex-wife. <laughs> so my name is Benjana Hills. Thank you so much. We're both so excited to be with you tonight. We are so excited to be with you tonight. We are so excited to be with you tonight. We are so excited to how are you doing? I'm doing okay, a little nervous, but I got two glasses of wine in, so I'm kind of good. All right, that's the information we... We could, do not need. We, we do, do not, not need, need to share. Yes. All right, Thank ladies you. and asked. gentlemen, tonight, mm -hmm. there's going to be a lot going on on these stage. We have drag shows, we have fashion shows, we have auction and As all. well, for a good cause. For, for a, good a good cause, cause of yes. course, yes. And tonight, of course, ladies and gentlemen, just now, we have seen the beautiful first performance. Mm -hmm. Sayam Min and Amadiva and also the welcoming speech from Kun Midnai Panusat Poon Gazet Watana from Epcom. ถูกต้องค่ะและแน่นอนนะคะว่าในงานค่ำคืนนี้จะต้องมีความพิเศษและแตกต่างจากทุกปีเพราะอย่างที่บอกไปนะคะเรามีประมูลชิ้นงานส
and grateful to be the recipient of this award. Let me quote, what you get by achieving your goals is not as important as what you become by achieving your goals. Therefore, I thank people who believed in me and showered me with a lot of love and acceptance that made me become what I am today despite my hearing disability and HIV stigma. Thank you, Upcom. Now I can proudly showcase my first international award which will continue to inspire and motivate me to do a lot more. Thank you. To present this award, would you please welcome His Excellency Ambassador Georg Schmidt of the German Embassy. และขอเรียนเชิญคุณสไปรบังนะครับเป็นผู้มอบบุเคให้กับผู้รับรางวัลและโอกาสนี้ขอเรียนเชิญตัวแทนของผู้รับรางวัลในรางวัลนี้ด
no matter where you are from, what language you speak. We feel like a family and feel happy like a child when we met. It is one of the most beautiful experiences in my life. In 2013, we hosted our first gathering in person, had our first intersection at the Ilga Asia Conference, came out together at the biggest Asia Pride Parade in Taipei, my hometown, and waved the intersect flag first time in Asia. Finally, we present not only me, but a group of six Asian delegates in the fourth International Intersex Forum in 2017. In 2018, we had the first Asia Intersex Forum and formed the Intersex Asia Network. It was a significant step for us. We established the first network for Asian intersex people in history. We determined to build intersex community in each Asia country and support intersex people to speak for themselves, to defend their human rights. We believe one day we will have a community that includes intersex people from every Asia country. Hopefully, at that time, Asian people are already aware of existence of intersex people and acknowledge us and our human rights. For me, the community always goes first. Without community, no community hero. This honor definitely goes for intersex community. I believe this honor will help me raise more intersex awareness in Asia and incubate more community heroes in the future. Thanks for the great opportunity and you are listening. And to present this award, will you please welcome His Excellency Ambassador Designate Yoon Ursern Gerndahl from Embassy of Sweden. Community Hero 2020. Please do present the bouquet as well. All right, congratulations. Call the young prop mood and dang it crang nung nick up. All right, Ban Ban, we are moving forward and jumping into the Health and Wellbeing 2020 Award. Whoa. We're moving to this award, the award that recognizes an individual working in the fields of healthcare, medicine, or research whose work has improved the health and well-being of LGBTQI people and or people affected by HIV in specific countries in Asia and the Pacific or across the region more broadly. And the award have two honorees, which are Dr. Henry Lewis from Indonesia. And Lionel Rogers from Fiji. And the Health and Wellbeing 2020 Award goes to Lionel Rogers. Congratulations. All right. Let's hear it from the winner of this award. By show video clip, click up. Warm greetings from Fiji. I'm indeed delighted to be selected as a recipient for the APCOM Hero Awards 2020 in the category of health and well-being. This is a great achievement for me and I would like to acknowledge APCOM's Executive Director Midnight and the APCOM family for recognizing individuals and organizations who have contributed to HIV, equality and rights across Asia and the Pacific region. 2020 has been a very difficult year for many of our community members, especially during this pandemic. Many volunteers, including myself, have suffered burnout from the overwhelming requests for food, shelter, medical supplies, and mental health support. The limited resources bogged us down, but our passion kept us going to ensure that much help was provided for those who were struggling to survive. National support provided was targeted at traditional families and our community members were left behind. However, LGBTIQ organizations from across the globe worked hand in hand to mobilize resources that have saved many lives and brought us closer together. 
This award brings with it renewed hope, energy and motivation during a very difficult period and it reaffirms the value of community, our community. It is comforting to know that some of the most passionate, dedicated and hardworking individuals will be awarded for their contribution at this award ceremony and I am fortunate to be selected among them. I would like to dedicate this award to every single volunteer, true unsung heroes on the ground working in the most unfavorable conditions with very limited resources and very little support to provide life-saving results. I stand with you, I advocate with you, and I hear you. We must rise together with every rising sun and share our message of hope. Across the ends of the earth there is always hope and we will get through this together. Let's continue to practice kindness as even the smallest gesture could save a life and let's continue to reach out, speak out and help out. Thank you for your kindness. A big round of applause. To present this award, would you please welcome His Excellency Ambassador Alan McKinnon of the Australian Embassy. Kostiang, prop mưu dang dang tan rap than ek aad karaja chud. Australia prajam prate thai duoi nai kap. Lae kho riyan chern nai kap toa thaen sam rap rang wad ni nai kap pheo pen toa thaen kong kun Lionel Rogers jak Fiji kap. Lionel is also the president of Youth Camp for Mental Health, the leading youth-led mental health and suicide prevention organization in Fiji as well. Thank you very much, His Excellency. And next, our Social Justice 2020. This award recognizes those working in the field of politics, the law, advocacy or human rights whose work has advanced the human and or civil rights of LGBTQI people and are affected by HIV in countries in Asia and the Pacific or the region more broadly. Our Riot and Social Justice 2023 final honorees are Aditya Yavarana from Indonesia, Kitinan Taramatat from Thailand, and Numan Afifi from Malaysia. And to present this award, would you please help me welcome Her Excellency Ambassador Kirsty Rusman of the Royal Norwegian Embassy. And the bouquet will be delivered by Kun Ten Ten Gay OK Bangkok. Congratulations to Kun Kittinan Taramata Jakpate Thai Kha! Kostadeng Kwam Yindi Doi Nekap Kun Kittinan Nekap. He's a lawyer and attorney, president of Rainbow Sky Association of Thailand and president of Multisexuality Community Advisory Board. His proudest achievement was passing the revision of the adoption of the curriculum on health and physical education regarding the content on sexual orientation and gender identity express. May we please, after, invite Kun Kittinan Taramata to deliver a speech, Naka. Lang chak thai pa pen thi ra lük lao, Naka. Prakho riyan chern Kun Kittinan, Naka. กล่าวความรู้สึกนะครับหลังจากได้รับรางวัลอันทรงเกียรตินี้ด้วยนะครับ Social Justice 2020ครับขอบคุณขอบคุณมากและก็ข่าวสารจากผู้แทนครับขอบคุณมากฟอร์ดพาร์สเตอร์ที่ยี่สิบไอฮับบินนักกิ้งไมเซลฟ์ออเดอร์ไทม์ว่าวิ่งไปเฮฟต์ไฟฟ์ไฟฟ์ไฟฟ์ไฟฟ์ไฟฟ์ไฟฟ์ไฟฟ์ไฟฟ์ไฟฟ์ไฟฟ์ไฟฟ์ไฟฟ์ไฟฟ์ไฟฟ์ไฟฟ์ไฟฟ์ไฟฟ์ไฟฟ์ไฟฟ์ไฟฟ์ไฟฟ์ไฟฟ์ไฟฟ์ไฟฟ์ไฟฟ์ไฟฟ์ไฟฟ์ไฟฟ์ไฟฟ์ไฟฟ์ไฟฟ์ไฟฟ์ไฟฟ์ไฟฟ์ไฟฟ์ไฟฟ์ไฟฟ์ไฟฟ์ไฟฟ์ไฟฟ์ไฟฟ์ไฟฟ์ไฟฟ์ไฟฟ์ไฟฟ์ไฟฟ์ไฟฟ์ไฟฟ์ไฟฟ์ไฟฟ์ไฟฟ์ไฟฟ์ไฟฟ์ไฟฟ์ไฟฟ์ไฟฟ์ไฟฟ์ไฟฟ์ไฟฟ์ไฟฟ์ไฟฟ์ไฟฟ์ไฟฟ์ไฟฟ์ไฟฟ์ไฟฟ์ไฟฟ์ไฟฟ์ไฟฟ์ไฟฟ์ไฟฟ์ไฟฟ์ไฟฟ์ไฟฟ์ไฟฟ์ไฟฟ์ไฟฟ์ไฟฟ์ไฟฟ์ไฟฟ์ไฟฟ์ไฟฟ์ไฟฟ์ไฟฟ์ไฟฟ์ไฟฟ์ไฟฟ์ไฟฟ์ไฟฟ์ไฟฟ์ไฟฟ์ไฟฟ์ไฟฟ์ไฟฟ์ไฟฟ์ไฟฟ์ไฟฟ์ไฟฟ์ไฟฟ์ไฟฟ์ไฟฟ์ไฟฟ์ไฟฟ์ไฟฟ์ไฟฟ์ไฟฟ์ไฟฟ์ไฟฟ์ไฟฟ์ไฟฟ์ไฟฟ์ไฟฟ์ไฟฟ์ไฟฟ์ไฟ
at the presidents of Rainbow Sky as the Ocean of Thailand, I've started to ensure improved life quality of people with sexual diversity. Our achievement include removing the term permanent forecast of transgender women who are exempted from the military conscription and replacing it with the term gender not conforming with the biological sex at birth. By filing a complaint as the administrative cause, inclusion of gender diversity education in the Ministry of Education curriculum, since the primary school level, we are achieving to enactment school level. We are achieving the enactment of the life partnership law, as it is now in the government consideration. We are advocating for the formulation of the gender recognition law and the law to end all form of discrimination in nine. Vulnerable subpopulation, including people with sexual diversity. Today, I am very honored to receive this HERO Award. I will continue to fight to ensure equal life for all of us. Thank you. Congratulations once again. All right, ladies and gentlemen, moving on to our fifth award already. Right. This is Business Ally 2020. This award recognizes private sector allies that strive to break down barriers for people from the LGBTQI communities through policy initiatives and recognize actions on the ground. And to present this award, I would like to invite Mr. Paul Thompson, Principal Sponsor, Love Spirit Representative, and to deliver the speech for Hero Awards 2020 as well. A big round of applause to welcome him, please. Thank you, everyone, and welcome to the Hero Awards. My name is Paul Thompson, I'm the founder of LGBT Capital. Um, Love Spirit is somebody that we actually invested in, which is a vodka firm based in Sweden. Like most people, unfortunately, they couldn't get here tonight, so I was asked to say a little speech on their behalf. Um, Love Spirit is actually looking to enter the Asian market with a vodka, which is really geared at the LGBT market. And I said to them, before you do it, I want you to do something real in Asia to show that you really are committed it to being in Asia. And for me, that is supporting the Hero Awards because the work that these guys do is absolutely phenomenal. I've been with them over the last few days with all of the LGBT diversity inclusion events and so on. And the work that they do in the region, particularly in relation to HIV, is the, I think is just incredibly important. And even more so in the times that we're in with COVID and everything else, I think they just do amazing work. And it's an honor for me to be representing the sponsor and in some way to support the work that they do. So congratulations, guys. You really are, are the best in what you do. Thank you. And the Business Ally 2020 goes to KPMG India. Congratulations. The bouquet will be presented by Mr. Michael Bach, AFCOM Private Sector Engagement Ambassador of Facebook Thailand. และขอเรียนเชิญนะครับผู้รับมอบรางวัลด้วยนะครับผมตัวแทนจาก KPMG อินเดียครับขอเรียนเชิญนะครับผู้รับมอบรางวัลนะครับผู้แทนจาก KPMG อินเดียนะครับและ right after this I would like to invite both of you to please remain on stage for the photo session please and also ขอเรียนเชิญนะครับผู้มอบรางวัลและผู้รับมอบรางวัลทั้ง5รางวัลแรกด้านบนเวทีเพื่อร่วมถ่ายภาพกับท่านผู้บริหารและท่านเอกอัครราชทูตครับใช่ค่ะ May we uh, invite all of the His Excellency and Her Excellency to please join us on stage for the photo session Yes for these first five of the awards for Hero Awards 2020 Yes ขอเรียนเชิญนะครับ Presenter ของทั้ง Business Ally 2020 Community Ally 2020 Community Hero 2020 Health and Wellbeing and also Social Justice 2020 
One step to your left, please. ขอเสียงปรบมือดังๆด้วยนะครับ Thank you very much for joining us in this photo session Congratulations all the winners for the first five awards as well สแสดงความยินดีด้วยนะครับกับทุกๆท,ท่านเลยนะครับทั้ง5ท่านนะครับใช่ค่ะรางวัลน,นี้คุณมันปานเราโฟกัสนะฮะไม่ใช่แค่ในประเทศไทยถูกค่ะแต่ไปถึงทั้งเอเชียแปซิฟิกนะครับรวมไปถึงหลายๆประเทศด้วยที่อาจจะอยู่รีเจนอื่นนะฮะหรือว่าภูมิภาคอื่นที่ทำงานนะครับหนักเพื่อที่จะสนับสนุนนะครับในวงการ LGBTQ ด้วยนะฮะใช่ค่ะเชิญค่ะและตอนนี้นะฮะหนึ่งบุคคลสำคัญที่สุดนะ he's the one behind all this success all the coming together with all different groups of people คุณมิดไนท์ครับขอเสียงปรบมืออีกครั้งหนึ่งครับขอบคุณครับ You're go doing down. wonderful job uh, Miss Me again uh, but this time I want to give you a little bit um, of a launch of a new digital platform of AppCom called AppCom Moo. Why AppCom Moo? So AppCom says like compassion, appreciation, community, and, commu uh, and, commu and communication. So what we like to do is bring all these digital platforms together in one place. Where the information will be accessible to LGBTQI people across Asia and the Pacific. So we we'll, we're doing four pillars in terms of this digital home for all our LGBT community in 30 countries in the region. So one is health and wellness. The other one is all, it's about social movement, and one is art and culture, and lastly is on business and networks. So what we'd like for you all to do is to help to go to the our Facebook app Commu and look at your contents and share that with all your friends and get other people to also join in this community of um, digital information. So it's not just for AppCom people, it's for our community. So you have creative contents that you like to post, that you like to bring about issues from your communities. This could be the platform for you to do so. And that's all I have to say for the launch of AppCom U today. Um, and before I go, I have to say thank you to all the sponsors as well. Um, so we have a principal sponsor, Love Spirit. Um, UNAIDS is our nature sponsor. And our supporting sponsors are Blue D, the dating app, uh, Open Society Foundation, Equity Initiative, and also the embassies of Australia and New Zealand. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you, Kha Kun Mitnai. Thank you, Kha. Thank you. 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 Thank you
ต่อไปนี้นะคะเราจะถึงเวลาอะไรคะจะถึงเวลาที่ทุกคนรอคอยนะฮะถูกต้องค่ะโดยเฉพาะคุณปัดปัดนะฮะมากค่ะเพราะว่าวันนี้เราจะมาประมูลสินค้าหรือผลงานที่ทรงคุณค่าและนำไรายได้จากการประมูลนี้เข้ามูลนิธิแอปคอมเพื่อไปใช้นำทำประโยชน์ต่อไปนะคะ Right in this session we're gonna give everyone opportunities to bid in this auction and all of the five items are so special let's start with the first one what is it ปันปัน Basically, uh, let me tell you about this artwork. It's called the Sacred Dance. The o f a t is k n o y a t a p i o l a p r y a o t a n t u EU, p r j a t t h a i a k a And the starting bid will be 10,000 baht. 10,000 baht. 10, baht. Beautiful, the Sacred Dance. The Sacred Dance art piece, which is currently invisible, because. Right there, right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's over here. Okay, yes. Do we have any bidders? Each of the time, the bidding will increase by 1,000 baht. การประมูลจะเริ่มจาก 10,000 บาทและขึ้นไปทีละ 1,000 บาทนะฮะต้องค่ะ Do we have any bidders right now? It's for a good cost, starting at 10,000 baht for this amazing artwork. Anyone right here? 10,000 baht. 10,000 over here. Do we have 10,000 and 1,000 baht? 10,000 and 1,000 baht. Me, 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 me. Right now, the ongoing bid we have is 10,000 baht already. Do we have anyone who wants to do good, do charity for AppCom? Me, me, me. 11,000 baht. Me, me. 11,000 baht. Me, me. 11,000 baht. Me, me. 11,000 for the next. Bit. All right. Somebody is touching her hair. Is that you? Are you just scratching, or you, is it a bit? I'm not sure. All right. Ten thousand going once. Ten thousand going twice. So to the handsome right. gentleman over here. Yes. Congratulations. Congratulations. Our staff will be contacting uh, with you. Thank you so much. Congratulations on your bidding. โอเคครับไปถึงชิ้นที่2กันบ้างดีกว่า oh. I am sure a lot of people would be loving this one Yes Wine Saint Henry Shiraz 2014วายแดงคุณภาพดีนะคะผู้บริจาคจากสถานเอกอัคราชสตูดออสเตรเลียราคาเริ่มประมูล 4,000 บาทค่ะ Alright Wines and Henry Shiraz from Australian Embassy, 4,000 baht. Anyone? 4, It's for a good cause. For the good cause and of course the high quality of the wine as well. 4,000 baht. Run, stop. Raka, this 4,000 baht. Come, who can buy it? 4,000 baht. Over there, 4,000 right. already. Ka. Do we have anyone else? 5,000. For a good cause. I'm coming anyone down here. 5, we need to raise money. Anyone from 5,000? 5,000 baht. Me, me, ka. วายดีๆ 5,000 บาทเองค่ะ 5,000 บาทตรงนี้ค่ะดีมากๆเลยค่ะ 5,000 บาทมีแล้วค่ะ 6,000 มีแล้วค่ะ 6,000 บาท anyone for 6,000 you're gonna look so good right now 6,000 over here you gotta fight with him 6,000 already anyone for 7,000 7,000 7,000 7,000 it's for charity it's for a good cause let's help people out 7,000 7,000 already 7,000 มีไหมฮะมุมนู้นมีไหมอาจจะมองไม่ค่อยเห็น her hand was up or is she brushing her hair her hand her hand is up too 7,000? 7,000, and she's not even looking at me, but it's okay. <laughs> Let's continue. Well, she's holding the wine glass, so she's not doing it. Yes. All right. 7, right now, 000? the highest bid is where? Wait, we are here at 6,000, right? 6,000. What about Kunna Tong? Hang Lang, so Jai Wai, Mekha? 6,000 baht. You don't know how much it is. Just now, who raised their hands for 6,000? Over All there, 6,000. Right. 6,000 going once, 6,000 going, going twice. twice. So, 6,000, thank you so Congratulations. much. Thank, thank you, you for so your much. kindness. All right, that's a. Do you want to stay here? I'm sorry, just gonna go anywhere. Yes. All right, Then moving on to our third piece. Yes. Third piece is. Let's see, number three. Whiskey. Whiskey. Yes, amazing whiskey. Whiskey, คุณภาพเยี่ยมจากสถานทูต Ireland. Starting price of only 2,000 baht. 2,000 baht. 2,000 baht. Who is going to be the first bid for 2,000 baht? 2,000 over there. We got 3,000, right? 3,000, right? He 3, said, 000, okay, yes. I'm good. 3,000 over here. Do we have 4,000? 4,000. Anyone for cameras up? I think you were bidding. 4,000 <laughs> 4, over there. Do we have 5,000? 4,000 over here. 4,000. 
All right, thousand over there already. Oh, four thousand. You want to go five? Five thousand. Thank you so here. much. Five thousand. Right. Do we have six thousand over there? Six thousand. Oh, that's the organizer saying hi. Six thousand. Oops. Going back That's over the there. Organizer for sure. Almost, almost. Five thousand each year. Five thousand over 6, here. Anyone six thousand. Anyone? Six thousand. Oh, is he doing it? Is he doing it? No, no, not really. he's just taking no. a selfie. No, All he right. just want to show us the iPhone case. Yes, I love that All rainbow right. iPhone case. So we have five thousand here. Six thousand. You're, you 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 Five thousand. Oh, over there. Over there. Ah! She 7, said 7,000! 7,000! 7, anyone? anyone gonna beat her? Anyone gonna beat her? Anyone wanna go for 8,000? Whiskey, rot lot, na ka. No, no. I try so, so hard to not read that. <laughs> you ruined my. Whiskey, sap sap. Keke. Keke, sap sap. No, no. No, no. No, no. No, no. No, และตอนนี้นะคะนี้ด้วยถูกต้องตอนนี้นะคะเจ็ดพันเจ็ดพันโกอิงวันเจ็ดพันโกอิงทวายส์เจ็ดพันโกอิงสอสคอนเกรจูเลชั่นคอนเกรจูเลชั่นคอนเกรจูเลชั่นขอบคุณมากที่เธอรู้สึกดีขึ้นขอบคุณมากที่เธอรู้สึกดีขึ้นขอบคุณมากที่เธอรู้สึกดีขึ้นขอบคุณมากที่เธอรู้สึกดีขึ้นขอบคุณมากที่เธอรู้สึกดีขึ้นขอบคุณมากที่เธอรู้สึกดีขึ้นขอบคุณมากที่เธอรู้สึกดีขึ้นขอบคุณมากที่เธอรู้สึกดีขึ้นขอบคุณมากที่เธอรู้สึกดีขึ้นขอบคุณมากที่เธอรู้สึกดีขึ้นขอบคุณมากที่เธอรู้สึกดี Okay, let's move on to the what is it? Fourth piece, right? Yes, the fourth piece is the photo book from Andrew Christian. Photo the book, ถ่ายภาพนะคะภาพสุดเซ็กซี่ในแบบระดับโลกเลย From Andrew Christian. พร้อมลายเซ็นด้วยนะคะ So basically, it's a photo book with the official signature from Andrew Christian. Is it the signature of Andrew Christian or? The models. His models. I think oh. it's. I think it's Andrew. I think there's only one way Pretty to find sure out when you win the bidding. Just to buy it. Just do that it. It's for a good cause. Wait, we haven't asked anyone yet. Yes. Keep chatting. All right. What is it? How much? The starting bid is at ten thousand. Ten thousand. Ten thousand for this amazing book. Sexy photo book with yes. signatures with of someone. We're gonna find out after you spend the money. Starting at 10,000. Anybody going to bid? Let's start 10,000. That one. 10,000. Oh, oh no, no, no. A lot, a, many people are brushing their hair today. Just brushing. casually, yes. 10,000. Brush. Starting at 10,000. Anyone? 10,000 for a sexy photo book with signature. Exactly. You want to go first? <laughs> no, I'm okay. I'm doing fine. I'm not going to put my hair above my shoulders. Anyone, Anyone over there? And no one is going to bid for this item, and it's okay. We're going to the next item, and the next item is Love Spirit. Two bottles of vodka. Five mm -hmm. Two vodka. bottles of vodka. vodka nah oh, Love Spirit from Sweden. Two bottles. Sweden, nah. Sweden, Sweden. Mike, but it's not that, that. That's not all. Two bottles of Love Spirit vodka and. Six bottles of Love Spirit sparkling rosé wine. Oh that God, means yes. for 4,000 baht, you got eight bottles of alcohol. Eight bottles for eight great, bottles great, of great, great alcohol. Bottle. Over there. Can Over I start there. the bid? I'm starting the bid. For 4,000, I'm, I'm down. So can you hold my mic? I, I am down. I am <laughs> 4,000, I'm starting. Over there. What? 4,000, you want to go five? What? Five. Five thousand. Anyone six, 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 Five, seven, thousand, six, six thousand seven thousand over there. Seven thousand. Eight thousand. Anyone eight thousand? Seven thousand. Put back to the top, ha. Eight thousand over there, na ha. Put back to the top, na ha. Thank you so much, na ha. Eight thousand. Nine thousand. You want to go to the handsome tall gentleman over there? Ten thousand. Anyone have ten thousand? Ten thousand. We are at nine thousand. You want to go for ten? No, he went. Park. Correct. Yes. You do not want to lose this battle. Ten thousand. Anyone? So much alcohol for just 10,000 so, baht, I swear. If you go to White Connection, it's more Anyone expensive. Anyone from over here? Pang for it. People are like, uh. Oh. <laughs> That's the story of my life. I'm loud. Uh, I'm okay, sorry. Anyway, 10,000 for eight bottles. Anyone? Maybe, maybe, you know, huh? Maybe, so the Somebody last Somebody gave me a smile. Does it, does it over count? There. Somebody gave me a smile. Does it count? No. No? You have to put your hands up. Oh. Yes. 10,000? No, not yet. No, that was 9,000. Nine. Going once. Nine going thousand. twice. So, to the tall, super sexy gentleman in the back. Thank you. You have a, like, 
very such a kind heart. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Wow, eight bottles for nine thousand. All right, yes. and thank ladies you. and gentlemen, we're just gonna take a cool break and watch this amazing video of people living with HIV. Mm -hmm. This is a part of our campaign from Midnight and also Abcom. So please enjoy it and check it out. อันนึงอ่ะเค้าเคยพูดว่าอยู่ไม่นานก็ตายอ่ะเราเคยนิ่งเราเคยไม่พูดต่อเค้าก็คิดได้ใจว่าเฮ้ยมันรู้ไปส
เออนั่งก็ไปไปโน่นไปนี่มองทุ่งนามองภูเขาอะไรแบบนี้มันรู้สึกผ่อนคลายมากให้ทุ่งนาเกี่ยวเกี่ยวแล้วก็ให้เจอมิตรภาพมิตรภาพที่เราไม่เคยเจอก็ให้เปลี่ยนประสบการณ์อย่าให้สังคมอ่ะตัดความเข้าใจใหม่ว่าเอสเวีมันไม่ได้น่ากลัวปัจจุบันนี้ภาษาได้ไม่ตายมีชีวิตได้ทำปกติทำมามีแฟนบางคนก็สามารถมีปูได้ถ้าเอากินยาตรงเวลาอายุเราก็จะยาวไปตรงบ่อนอายุไขย
ขอเสียงปรบมือดังๆด้วยนะครับนี่คือ Fashion Show ชุดพิเศษ Rhythm of Diversity เสริมฉลองความหลากหลายในสังคมอยู่ร่วมกันอย่างมีความสุขไม่ว่าคุณจะเพศไหนนะครับบอดี้ไทป์แบบใดสีผิวอะไรนี่คือความงดงามของความหลากหลายในสังคมครับ The rhythm of diversity celebrating all the beautiful, wonderful people on stage tonight. But please don't go anywhere because we still have another spectacular show. Are you guys ready? Yeah. All right. Coming up real soon, we have a special show by Sayam Men. And I'm a diva. There's a hero. If you look inside your heart, you don't have to be afraid of what you are. There's an answer if you reach into your soul. The sorrow that you know will melt away. Comes along with the strength to carry on, and you cast your fears aside, and you know you can survive. So when you feel like hope is gone, look inside you and be strong, and you finally see the truth that a hero lies in you. Reaches out the hand for you to hold. You can find love if you search within yourself, and that emptiness you felt will disappear. Then here. To carry on, and you cast your fears aside, and you know you can survive. So when you feel like hope is gone, look inside you and be strong, and you finally see the truth that a hero lies in you.
ทรงสกาวบนนาภาและคนที่เดินดินทุกทุกคนก็รู้ว่ามันไกลเกินที่คนจะก้าวไปเส้นทางบนดินนั้นก็มีดวงดาวที่ส่องสกาวอยู่ไม่ไกลและตัวฉันคนหนึ่งที่ต้องการจะก้าวไปฉันมั่นใจฉันมั่นใจว่าคงไม่อยากเกิดฉันนั้นต้องการมีเสียวนาทีทิ้งใหญ่ให้ใจจดไว้นานเท่านานเท่านานจะได้พูดใจที่มือฉันเคยได้เอื้อมผ่านได้เก็บดาวที่แสนไกลฉันเองดูดูดูดูดูว่าคนบางคนอาจจะไม่ใจท้อที่ดวงตาเธอหมดความหวังในหัวใจในหัวใจในหัวใจในหัวใจแต่มีฉันคนหนึ่งฉันมั่นใจกับทางที่เลือกเดินเพราะฉันนั้นต้องการมีเสียวนาทีที่ยิ่งใหญ่ให้ใจจดไว้นานเท่านานอยากจะได้พูดBut whether on the rose of sheer perfection, the freckle on the nose of light complexion, the cinder or the shiny apples of his eyes, I gotta fly once, I gotta try once, only can die once, right, sir? 
Who's like the juicy, juicy, and you see I've gotta have my bite Sir, get ready for me, love, cause I'm a comer I simply gotta march my heart to trouble Don't bring around the cloud to rain on my parade I'm gonna live and live now Get what I want, I know how One roll for the whole show, bam One throw, that bill will go grand I on the target and where One shot, one gunshot, and bam! Hey, look at me, world Your turn now, bad sir. I pleased it didn't fake it, hot sir. I guess it didn't make it. Get ready for me, love, cause I'm a cover. I think they're gonna march my heart's trouble. No, body, no, nobody is gonna play on my เสียงปรบมือดังๆด้วยนะครับอามาดีวาว้าว Thank you อามาดีวา and สยามเมนนะคะ So beautiful and so good Thank you so much for joining us in this performance All right ปันปัน we have so much more to go So yes. let's jump into it The next award HIV Hero Award This award recognizes the work of a person with HIV who has improved the lives of people with HIV in any capacity in specific countries in Asia and the Pacific and across the region more broadly. Of course, and this award we have three honorees of the HIV Hero 2020. Yes, the first honoree are is Ferdinand James McCam from the Philippines. The second honoree is Nasarius Celsadorus from Malaysia. The next honoree is Siyal Ni Lanka from Sri Lanka. And the HIV Hero 2020 award goes to Siyal Ni Lanka. Bye, Rap Tom. Video clip from the winner of this day, guys. I am humbled to be accepting this award today. Uh, I must say that this wasn't a journey that I ever anticipated to take. Uh, receiving my HIV status seven years ago, uh, it was one of the most, it was one of the hardest and life-changing moments in my life. I didn't believe when the doctors told me that HIV wasn't what it used to be, uh, say 10, 20 years ago. I, I didn't believe when they said that I will someday look back at that moment and see it as a turning point in my life. Uh, I tried to take my life a couple of times because I as a lay person then, uh, what I knew about HIV was vastly different to what I was being told by the healthcare providers uh, at the time. When I first started to uh, open up about my HIV status and the fact that I was living with HIV, um, it was it was a difficult piece of information for even some of those in the community to accept. Uh, it was some of them felt threatened that I, as a person who is living with HIV, was among them, and that they were they would be coming into contact with someone like me. That uh, was, I believe, because the information that they had about HIV was also vastly different to what was known about uh, what living with HIV meant. It led to um, me being bullied and harassed on social media, which uh, led me to make a decision to work in the sector and change 
uh, what it meant to be living with HIV for uh, for the people in my community. Um, being nominated among these other heroes who have taken their own journey to change the narrative around what it means to to be uh, living with HIV is a privilege in itself. Uh, to be recognized for my minute contribution uh, to the community is a blessing. Um, I have to acknowledge that we stand on on the shoulders of those who have come before us, who have paved the way for someone like me to be out about my HIV status, but also be extremely vocal about it. Um, it, it, it it's really it's really a a uh, result of everyone who has come before me. Um, in closing, I'd like to thank APCOM for recognizing uh, my work, uh, the selection committee for choosing me, uh, the Family Planning Association of Sri Lanka, uh, the Australian Federation of AIDS, or AIDS Organizations, and other workplaces that I have been part of who have provided me the space to continue the work that I have been doing. I'm grateful to my friends, uh, to my family and to my partner who have stood by me through every turn of this journey. Uh, without the tremendous love and support from all of them, I will not be here speaking with you today. So thank you. Uh, thank you for, uh, for giving me the love, the support, and the courage that I need uh, to continue the work that I do. Um, I hope that in the years to come, uh, we, we end this fight and we change what it means to be receiving an HIV positive status or what it means to be living with HIV uh, in the years to come. Thank you. And to present this award, please welcome Mr. John Robert Post, Counselor for Public Affairs, the U.S. Embassy. To do the honor, let me ask the Chairman of the Ranking Member to do the honor. Congratulations. Dion has been living with HIV for the past seven years and is currently living and generating awareness to fight the stigmatization and discrimination PLHIV persons face in Sri Lanka. Congratulations and also thank you very much. All right, we're moving to Community Organization 2020. This award recognizes a community or not-for-profit organization which has worked and to improve the health and the rights of LGBTQI people and those affected by HIV in Asia Pacific and other regions. And the three honorees are Community Organization 2020. Number one, Daricha from Pakistan. TLF Share from the Philippines. Tonga Leti Association from Tonga. For this award for Community Organization 2020 goes to Tonga Leti Association. Congratulations. I'll turn up some video clip up. Good evening and Malo Elele. I would like to take this opportunity to thank um, the Asia Pacific Coalition for Men's Health, APCOM, for all that you have done. Thank you so much for this award and we take it wholeheartedly um, and we accept it with a lot of love to those that we have lost through HIV and AIDS, STI, and of course, those who have suffered the stigma and discrimination. Thank you so much to Midnight and all the staff of EPCOM and all its board. Malo Alpito and God bless you all.
That is quite very 2020, don't you think? All right, congratulations and also to present this award. Please welcome Mr. James Anderson, Deputy Head of Mission, New Zealand Embassy. ขอเสียงปรบมือต้อนรับคุณเจมส์ด้วยนะครับและขอเรียนเชิญนะครับผู้แทนรับรางวัล Community Organization 2020ครับเจ้าหน้าที่ Association was established in 1992 under the guidance of its first president Mrs. Taliola o l i a k i M. Thank you very much and congratulations, t o n g a Ladies Association. You have done a great work. ขอบคุณทั้งสองท่านมากมากเลยครับขอเสียงปรบมือดังๆด้วยนะครับ Now, ladies and gentlemen, we are moving on to our eighth award. This has never been. Here at Hero Awards, before it is the first ever COVID-19 Hero 2020, the award recognizes an individual, community, or not-for-profit organization that has worked to improve the health and the rights of LGBTQI people and those affected by HIV in this region and others. And the three honorees are Jaringan Indonesia Positive. พันธมิตรแสงปัญญาลาวส์ซอนจูเลียนพรายด์แอดวอคซีกรุ๊ปเดอะฟิลิปปินส์และรางวัลไปยังจาริงกันอินโดนีเซียพอสิทีฟขอบคุณมากๆและเราไปฟังจากผู้ชนะชมวิดีโอได้เลยครับ Being part of the nomination for the Epcom Hero Award is an achievement that we did not expect. We carry out many activities during the COVID-19 pandemic on humanitarian grounds, and look what a beautiful gift from God that gave us the opportunity to be winners in this event, and we are very grateful for that. And thank you to Epcom for lightening the burden caused by the pandemic in Indonesia. Jaringan Indonesia Positive or the Positive Indonesia Network is very grateful and appreciate to all organizers for giving us time to leave our little short messages. As we position ourselves to be part of the key population or peer support in the midst of this pandemic, we ask whether we have hope, what we can do for our friends, and would we be silent or do we participate? So here we are. We choose to bring back the enthusiasm of hope of those affected by COVID-19 because we still have hopes of pursuing the big goal of GIP, which is fulfilling the right to health of people living with HIV through a peer support system within the framework of human rights and gender equality. We can do it alone, so come on, we move together to raise the hope and spirit of struggle for our friends out there. Help them spread the wings of hope and become empowered PLSIP individual despite the uncertain pandemic storm when it will end. And the last, the sun is a daily reminder that we too can rise again from the darkness. To believe that we will rise again, we will go through this together. Wish all of us and our loved one health and safety. God bless you all. Thank you. To present this award, please welcome UNAIDS Regional Director for Asia and the Pacific, Emman Murphy. ขอเสียงปรบมือต้อนรับท่านด้วยนะครับและขอเรียนเชิญผู้แทนนะครับรับรางวัลในครั้งนี้ด้วยครับ
COVID-19 Hero 2020. Congratulations to Jaringan Indonesia Positive. Thank you so much. And for the next award for Transgender Hero 2020, supported by APTN, this award recognizes the work of a transgender person who has improved the lives of transgender people in any capacity in specific countries in Asia and the Pacific. And there are three honorees for this award. The first one, Janet Ali from Pakistan. And we have Lenny Eko Sukihato from Indonesia. Last but not least, Nayib Ali from Pakistan. And the award goes to Nayib Ali. Congratulations and let's hear it from the winner. I'm Nayib Ali from Pakistan. It's a great honor for me and for my Pakistani transgender community that we've won this most significant Asian title, the APCOM Hero Award under transgender category. I would like to thank APCOM, ALGA Asia and all partners for making this happen, that all efforts for the betterment of LGBTI community are being recognized through this prestigious award. I was attacked and physically assaulted in last week only due to advocating against ongoing attacks on the transgender community in Pakistan. I was feeling very unsafe and disheartened during this traumatic situation, but at the same time receiving this prestigious title filled me with more courage to work for the rights of our community, making safest world for the LGBTI community. This acknowledgement gave me hope that one day we will be equal, empowered and change the world. Once again, thank you very much. I'm feeling so much humbled and honored. And to present this award and bouquet, will you please welcome Her Excellency Ambassador Dr. Sarah Taylor of the Embassy of Canada. และขอเรียนเชิญผู้แทนเพื่อรับรางวัลด้วยนะครับบอกมิงเดอะแรปเปอร์สันดีฟออฟเนียบอาลีคอนเกรตเลชั่นส์เนียบอาลีส์เป็นผู้แทนผู้หญิงในโลกมุสลิมที่ชนะในนาทีมรัฐบาลด้วยพลังการเลือกตั้ง from NA142 Ankara, Punjab, Pakistan. She's currently working as a transgender rights expert consultant and also a capacity building expert in the rule of law project. And also she's running an organization and consultancy firm named Transgender Rights Consultants Pakistan. Congratulations. And for the next award for Young Achiever 2020, this award recognizes the work of an LGBTQI person or person with HIV under 30 years of age who has improved the lives with people with HIV in any capacity. There are three honorees for this award. The first one, Ang Piyutut from Myanmar. We have Hayden Royalty from Korea. And also, Koshal Rana Singhe from Sri Lanka. And the award goes to Ong Pyutut from Myanmar. Let's hear it from the winner. Hi everyone, greeting from Myanmar. 
มิงกลาบาสวัสดีครับ My name is Amputu. I'm 30 years old from y a m a Eastern Networks. Firstly, I would like to say thank you so much to Afcon for allowing me to be part of the Hero Award ceremony. It was a real touching moment when I got to know that I have been selected as the recipient of the Afcon Hero Award 2020 in the category of Young Achiever. I have never dreamed of receiving this award, but it has really happened in my life. This award is very meaningful, not only recognizing, recognizing, but emotionally as well as it has strengthened my belief myself. As we all know that our key populations and LGBT community have more equal opportunity and less discrimination than ever before, but much remains. To be done to improve this situation, so we all need to put our effort in our work together for this. And I also believe that award will give me the strength to do more for the key populations and LGBT community in my future. Now I feel I'm only one step closer to achieving my goal. Again, thank you so much, a f g o n and y a m a y u s e Network, who supported me a lot to achieve. This awards, and I would like to say that all we know currently we are facing COVID-19 pandemics, and this situation has proved that everything around is so temporary. Things our life revolve around war, d i n more movie, society have all gone for a toast as we are learning to live without them. It has taught us that in the end. So we need to prevent, detect, and respond. It respond to it together and in solidarity. I wish everyone safe from virus and live life happy and healthy ever. Thank you so much for your time and see you again. To present this award, would you please help me welcome His Excellency Ambassador Tony Cotter of the Embassy of Ireland, Irish Ambassador to Thailand. Please welcome the representative for the winner. Please, ขอเชิญผู้แทนรับรางวัลขึ้นด้านบนเวทีได้เลยนะครับ Congratulations and thank you very much. Yes, and the last award for Hero Awards tonight is the Shivananda Khan Award of 2020, an award for extraordinary achievement presented by Appcom to honor its founder, the late Shivananda Khan. And of course, we have a very special and important message video by Dede Atomo, the chair of Appcom Regional Advisory Group. For all of you, and also he will be announcing the winner for this as well. ขอเชิญรับชมวิดีโอพิเศษชุดนี้ครับ Good evening, everyone. My name is Didi Utomo, and I'm from Surabaya, Indonesia. What a wonderful evening this is to have both the physical meeting and online participants tuning in and supporting Apcom's fourth Hero Awards. I hope you're all keeping safe and well. I'm the chair of the Regional Advisory Board of APCOM, and I have been part of APCOM's journey since 2006. The s h i v a n a n a Khan Award for Extraordinary Achievement has been awarded for the last three years, and tonight we are here to honor the fourth recipient of the award. The previous recipients of the award are Ashok Rakavi from India, 2017, Taiga Ishikawa from Japan, 2018. And t u i s i n a Imania Brown from Samoa, 2019. First, may I speak for a moment about Shiv, one of the founders of Apcom, and our chair until his untimely death in 2013. Shiv is well known to many of us here tonight as a global advocate for LGBTQ rights, 
Born in India, he grew up in the United Kingdom and there established an organization for South Asian gay men and lesbians. Shiv recognized early on uh, in the HIV epidemic the impact that it would have on his, our community, and worked tirelessly on addressing homophobia and HIV-related stigma and discrimination. His legacy lives on today through the work of EPCOM and many of the LGBTQI organizations in Asia and the Pacific and other parts of the world. We miss you, Shiv, and we are proud to make this award in your memory. Tonight's recipient of the Shivananda Khan Award is no stranger to EPCOM and many LGBTQI people in Asia and the Pacific. The 2020 recipient is an international law expert with a long and impressive global and local career working on human rights issues that have that have and continue to impact on the lives of each and everyone here tonight. For more than 30 years, the 2020 awardee has worked with the United Nations and nations of the world to draw focus on issues ranging from the sale of children, human rights in North Korea, and most recently as the first UN independent expert on violence and discrimination based on sexual orientation and gender identity. Still don't know who the 2020 recipient is? Another clue. Tonight's awardee was instrumental in the realization of the Yogyakarta principles, principle designed to protect LGBTI people against human rights abuses by strengthening the application of international human rights law. Always ready with a smile, generous with his time for others and a profound understanding of human rights and the law, he is a true hero for the LGBTQI plus community and wherever you are in the world. Welcome to the stage, the 2020 recipient of the Shivananda Khan uh, Award for Extraordinary Achievement, Professor Vitit Muntabon. And to present this award and bouquet, would you please welcome His Excellency Ambassador Francisco Vaz Hato of the Embassy of Portugal. And also please welcome Professor Vitit Muntabon from Thailand. Congratulations! This is definitely one of the most significant awards of tonight. And also for Hero Awards, this is the fourth year already and still counting. Professor Vitit สำหรับการได้รับรางวัลชีวนันดคานอวอร์ด All right, both of you, please remain on stage for our group photos. And I would like to invite all of the award presenters to please join us on stage and also the award recipients and the winners too. Yes, for HIV Hero 2020, Community Organization 2020, COVID-19 2020, Transgender Hero 2020, Young Achiever 2020. และโอกาสนี้นะครับขอเรียนเชิญวินเนอร์ของเราได้กล่าวอะไรสักเล็กน้อยในโอกาสสำคัญนี้ด้วยนะครับขอเรียนเชิญครับ Good evening สวัสดีครับ Good evening dear friends ladies and gentlemen excellencies Let me please first of all thank you very much for this and this award is dedicated to all workers all defenders of human rights and democracy who are very much needed today I'm a volunteer. I've always considered myself to be a volunteer, particularly on human rights and democracy issues. And I'd like to trace with you, trace with you, three developments on my part, which hopefully are relevant tonight. Number one, the trail that we must trace together. Number two, the path that we must walk together. 
And number three, the journey that we look forward to make together. What do I mean very quickly? The trail happily has witnessed some very positive developments worldwide. Today, since 2016, we have a UN position that can take complaints of violence and discrimination against LGBTI. And that is the position of the UN independent expert on protection against violence and discrimination based on SOGI. <laughs> Secondly, Many of you were not here for the past two days, but we were talking about business and human rights and LGBTI. Today, we have experiences, we have guidance of good practices in terms of how the business sector should act and react on LGBTI human rights issues. We invite the business sector to number one, integrate LGBTI issues into their policies at the workplace, Number two, protect people from discrimination and violence, particularly to have channels of redress. Number three, provide support, equivalency in terms of spousal benefits to LGBTI and their spouses. Number four, work with the supply chain because it's a global link. And number five, work with the community beyond. Those are the elements of business, human rights, and LGBTI, which invite even more emphasis today on small and medium-scale industries in this region. And thirdly, in Thailand, in Thailand, thirdly, the trail. We have a gender equality law now, which protects people from discrimination based on gender expression. In other words, better protection for transgender people. And we look forward to a civil partnership and marriage law without discrimination under the sun. Three. Now we come to the path ahead. Three not so good elements. Number one, 60 something countries still criminalize same sex relations. Boo. Number two, 50 countries worldwide still do not recognize gender identity. In other words, transgender people are not recognized in terms of their gender to be able to change ID documents and birth certificates. And number three, sadly, plenty of violence and discrimination. Also, pathologization. People are looked upon as medical cases, including intersex people, who should not be medical cases, but who should just be treated as humans to be respected, like everyone. And finally, what is the journey ahead together? Very simple journey of three captions. No criminalization, please. No violence and violations, please. No exclusion, no marginalization, please. So let's sail together and billow with the wind. Blessed by the beautiful colors of the rainbow, involving all of us as partners, entrenched in a sense of humanity and empathy for diversity. At once, heartwarming at once scintillating, at once exhilarating. Thank you so much and congratulations, Professor Vitit Mantapon, the winner of the Chief Anandakan Award of 2020. Big congratulations and I would like to invite all the His Excellencies to please join us on the stage. All of the award winners tonight to please join us for this photo session.
ขอเสียงปรบมือดังๆอีกครั้งหนึ่งนะครับ Congratulations to all of the winners and thank you so much for joining this session. Last but not least, coming up, we have a show from extraordinary show from these famous drag queens from the House of Heels. Let's give it up to Miss Candy Cyanide and Anjali Anna. Please enjoy the show. For the tail, get tip, do it, ha, lo, get tip, do it, ha, get week, do it, ha. You guys ready for one more? Next coming up, Miss Angela Anna. Like 
Thailand season two, Miss Anjale Anna. Woo! Thank you so much for joining us tonight. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the very, very almost the last part because we still have a big party to yes, attend. Yes, we do. Right? Okay, but before we go, can we please have all the staff of FCOM join us on stage, please? Yes. All of the ones who made this wonderful, wonderful evening happening right now. So, thank you so much. This is, has been a very fun night. And of course, most importantly, thank you so much for everyone who have been joining us both here and also online. Yes, and the sponsors for joining the event as well. Exactly. Without all of you, this great, great night, the fourth year of Hero Awards 2020 would not be happening. And don't miss out on the after party because we're going to have fun at the after party Hero Night Party from now until 1 a.m. at Glen Bar in front of this ballroom. All right, Glen Bar. Glen Bar, which is right next to this ballroom until 1 a.m. So please join us for the after party. Yes, it's gonna be super fun. If not, see you at the House of Hills. Nobody's joining us on I this? I don't know. You wanna move Same. here so they wanna join us? No one's gonna take the photo. 
So we are going to be the one who's taking the photo. I love it. All right. So uh, also, Pan Pan, thank you so much for joining us tonight. Such a pleasure tonight. You thank have you been have making this a very, very amazing and fun evening. Yes. And you have helped me through a lot of things tonight <laughs> as well. So thank you so much. Hope All you guys right. have an amazing night. And we'll see you at the next Hero Awards for 2021 next year. Thank you so much. And have a good, good night. So what do you have? เชิญถ่ายรูปเลยนะครับทุกท่านครับ